What's up guys, it is Starflorge here and today we have a new level by level build for the dual wielding sabotage artifactor which is some great fun. Now if you guys want this level by level build video for the rest of the builds I've already made that I won't be revisiting, uh, if you want those videos just put a comment below and I'll start on those level by level builds for all of the ones I've already done and also for my future build. So let's get into this now. We are going to start off with Twin Fangs. Uh, it's a really nice base damage ability and pretty much straight away you uh, have a party members that can taunt and things. And you're not going to necessarily need to do a lot of soloing. Um, so you can take Twin Fangs and it does work even if you are in solo because it's quite a nice ability in itself. Then we're going to go down into Flank Attack and Skirmisher straight away to be able to unlock Stealth basically. Uh, and it's just a very nice spell. Uh, being able to flash behind someone and then go instantly invisible is actually insane. So that would be level 3. Now for level 4 we're going to take Blooded Prey which means you do 10% more damage to your foes that have lower health than you. Next we're going into clap traps and then look like it hurt some insane spell which a lot of you will know is kind of the key element to this build. So that's three, four, five, six, level six. So after level six, we're gonna go level seven, unforgiving a chain. Level eight, spinning blades. Uh, level nine, never, a never-ending spin. Sorry. So there we go. We got kind of a lot of key abilities going on. Uh, and then after that, we will be level ten. So we're going to go into spike trap and then opportunity knocks. That's 10, level 11. Now, after level 11, we are actually not going to go further into that. We're going to go level 12, cheap shot. Level 13, throwing blades. And that is level 13, done. After level 13 and uh, you are level 14, you want to go for set them up. And then into elemental mines, level 15. Level 16, throw everything because it's such a nice ability. And level 17, we want to go into and take them down. So now we've got Take Them Down, which is a big, big key ability. We're actually going to go back into the Sabotage Tree. And then 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So up to 21, we took Poison Weapons, Fighting Dirty, Explosive Toxin, and then into Toxic Clouds. So that's level 21. 22, we're going to take Lost in the Mist. 23, we're going to take Precision Targeting. 24, Leeching Poison. 25, Tread Lightly. And I don't think I'm done yet. 25, no. 26, we're going into Dance of Death. And 27, we're going into Sneak Attack to get 100% crit. So 27 is something I think is kind of a level that most people would get if they're just playing anyway. You can see I'm level 24, uh, but that's just because I haven't been leveling at all recently because obviously I just do builds at the moment, uh, nothing else really. So that's where I am, but this is the level 27 currently, and this is basically the main part of the build. You basically go all out in the Sabotage, uh, Artifactor, and Double Daggers. Now, after you have hit this mark where the build is basically complete, uh, something that does help is getting Ripping Fangs. Uh, and then once you've done that, you literally have everything you need. So at level 28, you have everything you need and you are completely set to go. However, after 28, there is a few more levels to be able to buff yourself. And to do this, we're not actually taking into effect any more active. It's just all the passives. Sometimes, yes, the passive is actually quite nice, but say if you like the archery passive, why would I take the archery passive when it's completely useless? Well, passives in themselves give you, you a certain attribute plus three normally, uh, and so we're going to try and unlock all of them. So we're 28 is max build. Also, if you want to take Hail of Arrows, go for it because you can get Hail of Arrows with Throwing Blades combo to just rinse the enemy, but as you guys will know by now, I don't like using these abilities. Uh, that's just personal preference, so don't hate, it's just what I think. Um, but after this, we are going to go 29, 30, Tricks of the Trade. So that's 30, we don't need anything in there. Uh, don't need anything in sabotage, but then let's go. Was it so we're 30? Go into stealth, get the upgrade for three seconds, which is really nice. Uh, so yeah, so your stealth lasts three seconds longer, 
and that's 30, 31, 32, and 33. We're taking easy to miss. 34, we're taking evasion. That means we've got dex and cunning, and evasion actually helps a lot. So that would be, I believe, we're at level 34. Uh, go here to evade to be able to get ambush, and then obviously knockout powder to get mercy killing, uh, which is plus three cunning and obviously ambush is plus three dex and you can see things like uh, ambush is actually extremely nice uh, once you've done that those then you finally want to go into archery you get the archery passives last because obviously they're the least useful in terms of they only really give you the uh, attribute bonus whereas things like uh, ambush they actually do help so that is the full and complete build and you can see I have used I believe I believe at this you'll be a level 45 which is insane so to, if you are level 45 you have everything you need completely and utterly everything and then you click apply there is a ridiculously loud noise ouch um, and I will go show you the setup here quickly uh, just so you go, guys uh, know the setup of what what your layout should look like. Now, again, I just want to specify these are my builds and these are personalized builds and also these are builds I just personally like. You can always change these builds to however you like uh, and however you want. And also, you don't have to take the exact same skill set. You can swap out a few things, put in a few things here and there. It's completely up to you. I just try and like, uh, I, I just like to make kind of guidelines in a way so that you guys can then come up with ideas, with builds, take mine, customize them, or literally just rip, rip it from mine and take it for exactly what it is. But this is the setup I have, and the reason I have this setup I'll go into. Now, mainly you just use flank attack and throwing blades because you can just proc them constantly however elemental mines is insanely broken uh, toxic cloud we take for defense as well as poison weapon they're both defense then clap traps elemental mines and toxic cloud not only is things like toxic cloud um, defensive they are all uh, the clap traps the toxic cloud and the elemental mines will all kind of deal damage over time the mines will proc obviously uh, and then the clap traps will proc but also deal de bleed damage and toxic cloud will proc every few seconds now while all of these go off you have chance to restore stamina and reduce cooldowns and that's why they are so effective because these three spells are kind of what keep you going if you miss as well as poisoned weapons actually all of these four do now we take twin fangs because it works insanely well with elemental mines with the detonator as well as twin fangs just being a very nice burst damage if you're behind them spinning blades obviously we're taking for massive aoe damage number of hits five plus so we're getting nine hits which is insane uh and it just looks awesome let's be real uh, and then obviously you guys know flank attack is to use to get behind people deal a lot of damage but also go in stealth and then throwing blades which is probably the best ability in this which just allows you to shred enemies and get a lot of resources back so guys i hope you enjoyed this video again like i said at the start comment below if you want this kind of thing for uh all of my previous build and if you do what should i do and not do that i did in this build so to speak so what would you prefer to happen for a another video for a level by level build Leave a comment below for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. We are climbing, guys. It's awesome to see that number climbing. So satisfying. And I will see you next time.